How's it going everybody? John here with another video today and I'm going to be comparing the 4X pods versus the regular Jewel pods. Now this is the Raspberry Mint Lemonade pod that is available by 4X and this is a regular mint or regular mango pod that you can buy um, from the Jewel um, distributors themselves. So I'm going to be discussing the size, the nicotine percentage, um, the flavor, the clouds and all that other good stuff and I will be comparing it to the regular pods. Now if you haven't seen my unboxing video on the Jewel Mango Pods, the link will be down in the description below. I recommend going and checking it out. I think it just hit about 200 views. My last video with me comparing the Jewel to the Rolo Badge that got as of right now 400 views. Um, and my next video might be me um, comparing this to the blue. So stay tuned, stay tuned for that one. Now these are what the 4X pods look like. Now, fair warning, I do not have the box that this comes in. I will put up a picture on the screen of the advertising picture of what they are advertised to look like. Um, but I do not have the box because my buddy actually gave me this so I can do a review on this and it's not a full pod because I've been hitting it all day long which is actually a good idea for me because I've never had this before I've had a full day with it I can show you how much juice is gone just for me hitting it all day long and uh, I can describe the flavor more accurately now right off the bat this thing looks nothing like a real jewel pod um, I'll get a closer look of it here in a second I'll show you hands-on what they look like up close but the tips are rounded that you can kind of see. Um, I'm not using the same software um, for my camera that I was using before, so I can't do all the fancy end screen um, focusing and stuff like that, but that is what um, they look like. As you can see, this is like a rounded tip, and then this is a flat tip. So very clear comparison, a lot different. Um, now, as you can also see, it is a diamond shaped um, Hole right there to show you the juice on the regular jewels it's more like a uh, like a squash down stop sign um, like an octagon or is it hexagon one two three four five six it's a hexagon it's a squash down hexagon um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the yellow casing um, now this is obviously not a flavor that is available by the jewel company themselves they never made a raspberry mint lemonade so this is their own adaptation of a flavor that they sell. So if you're a rule jeweler, you would know to flick your pod before you put it in. That's how you prime the cotton, my boy, my guy, my ladies, my gents, my transgenders. Okay, so it's popped in. It's a real nice fit. Let's go ahead and take our first hit. So another difference that um, is shown through this pod and a regular jewel pod is this is a full milliliter. So this is 30% more juice in just this one pod than a full jewel pod um, provides. Um, as you can tell, it is taller. So I'm holding it from the bottom. And let me take off the cap so it's a more accurate representation. And that is the size right there. Um, you can't really tell by the tips because the tip is longer, no homo. Um, but the actual casing itself, so the little clear piece that holds the juice, that is also longer. So the black pieces hold over the clear piece a lot, you know, a lot more. They do click in the jewel a lot nicer though. Not nicer, but they do click in nice. When the jewel pot is fully in, you know, you can definitely tell that this is, you know, from a distance it's not that big of a deal, but up close you can definitely tell it's, a, it's not a real jewel pot. So, if I was to do the math, this has 65 milligrams per milliliter, so it's technically 6.5% 65 milliliters, or 65 milligrams. This is 5%, a lot of people say it's 50 nic, but it's only 0 0.7 milliliters per pod, and, um, you know, 50 nic, 0 0.7 milliliters, that's realistically only like 40 milligrams or something like that. It, I'm not going to do the math, I'm too tired for that. but. Um, it's a lot less nicotine, but it's still a high amount like it's crazy amount compared to like uh, Regular juice that you can put in a, in a vape or a box mod or anything like that So let's go ahead and do a hand comparison Okay, so 
Right here is the 4X pod, and here is the mango pod. Um, of course, this is what they look like. Um, comparison, they have the little V for 4X, and then you got the iconic uh, half hexagon squash down stop sign. I'm really tired by the way. I'm sorry. The last two videos I've made I've been extremely tired because I just go home from work clean my room and do my homework. So uh, This is how big the pot is We gotta focus. Let me see if I can actually focus. Ooh, it worked. Okay, so here is the comparison um, So that's what this looks like compared to this one um, on the sides you do have the same clip that the regular jewel pods do and then you can actually see the cotton a lot more so i guess the spit back on this thing is probably more intense than a regular jewel pod because they do have more cotton up top or you know that just might be um design it doesn't necessarily mean it has more spit back you can't really tell because there is a lot of cotton that catches that juice of course you have the v right there um the little coil looks um almost identical to the regular jewel pods they're just a little bit i think bulkier in my opinion now the cotton looks pretty much exactly the same so i'd say it's about the same exact design for burning the juice i just think it has a longer coil and it can hold more juice per pod now like i said it does click into the jewel very nicely and then you can tell um how round it is at the top so you can see it's a very <laughs> rounded thing, uh, which is kind of weird because the jewel is based off square design and the jewel pods fit very well with that square lineup. So you can tell that it's a little different. Now, do I recommend these pods? I've only had the uh, 4X Raspberry Mint Lemonade, which is this flavor. I've only had this one. And so far, just by telling uh, the flavor and the nicotine amount, I'd say it's true to its cause. I, I would say it's got more nicotine. Um, I would say that it's a very vibrant flavor. And if you're into a fruity kind of flavor like I am, I, I don't really like uh, the whole, I don't like tobacco or um, you know cake flavors or donut flavors or anything like that. I'm more of a fruity flavor kind of guy. And this is like perfect for you. Um, I personally think this is a great pod. I'd invest, um, I think it's like 12 bucks on eBay or Amazon or something like that. You can probably get them off other um, vape websites as well, but you can, this is the only like, thing that I saw, I saw like Amazon or something like that. But um, I do recommend these a lot. Now would I say stop jeweling on regular pods and immediately switch over to the 4X ones? Not necessarily, that's your opinion. I would say definitely check them out though. Um, they are very very good I don't know uh, they're they're worth buying you know they're at least worth trying if you don't like them switch back to your regular jewel pods switch over to another jewel pod alternative but these are cheaper um, you know I think f each pod is probably like three bucks or something like that while a regular jewel pod each pods like 425 or five dollars depending on where you live I know in Canada it's higher prices because they put more tax on um, nicotine and stuff like that and in other countries they don't even sell jewels or jewel pods they're banned because of the um, high influx of nicotine they don't they don't want that much nicotine in their products now like I say on my other videos I do not condone underage vaping or consumption of nicotine I do not condone that whatsoever I say that because one it is illegal two it's unethical and three I have to say it for legal rights. I can't condone that kind of stuff on YouTube. That stuff gets taken down very easily. And um, it's not that, you know, it, it, it's not that good of a thing. Like you don't, you, you shouldn't be 15 consuming nicotine. It's not that big of a deal. You know, it's, not, it's something you can easily live without of. The con that I do have about this, um, if you are a type of person that's in a crunch at times and you have to hit your jewel like three or four times in a short time frame in order to, you know, get your fix on before work or something like that, um, these burn fairly quickly at like short paces. So if you hit it multiple times, like I did earlier showing you twice me hitting it, uh, it'll taste burnt. And um, the more you hit it, like 
repeatedly, the more it's gonna taste burnt. So just let that cotton soak in the juice. So, you know, if you're gonna hit it repetitively, hit it once every 30 seconds, probably just so that cotton has enough time to re-wick. So, if I was to rate this out of five, I'd give it like a 4.5 out of five. That's fair. You know, it's, um, you know, it's, it's cheap. They're somewhat reliable. Um, the flavor is amazing. And, um, the nicotine is true to what they say. A lot of people, they say, oh, this has got a high amount of nick and you can't really feel it. Or it's not true advertising. And like I said, I am very low on energy because I have been working out constantly. I had a homecoming over the weekend. I've been working constantly. School is irrelevant, but it's constant. So um, thank you guys for you know sticking with me. My last video actually got a lot more views than I thought it was going to be. I think it's been like a week or two, and it's been like you know 400 views. It went from like 60 views in four days to like 120 views in five days and then I checked it again today it's up to like 400 so I don't know what happened it kind of blew up it's not nearly viral um, but when it gets to the point where I have more views on a recent video than I do subscribers it makes me feel good it makes me feel like I'm doing something special so thank you guys so much for the continuous likes comments um, and subscribing you know I had 360 or something like that subs before I uploaded that one video of him saying I hit dingers and it shot up to like 370 then dropped back down to like 365 um, and then I started uploading these vaping videos and now I'm up to like 380 or something like that I don't know it's either 368 or 386 something I don't care I don't care about the subs really because it doesn't matter when you only have less than a thousand my other channel has almost 2,000 but I never put videos up on it anymore because it's a gaming channel and if I just switched it over to vaping I would lose subs videos won't be consistent and I would have old videos that had nothing to do with vaping like I do on this channel but this channel has like 12 videos my other one has like 500 but thank you guys for watching I would do a little um, montage of me like choosing thumbnails like I did in my past two videos but I got a little lazy and I took the thumbnail before I actually made this video um, but I, I did put vapor in the last thumbnail so I'm wondering if that got me a little bit more views just because I did put the vapor so I'm gonna test that again on this video so again thank you guys so much please like comment and subscribe and tell me if you guys want to see that blue versus the jewel um, review thank you guys peace